the amazing work you're doing with on agriculture to help improve productivity. Uh, you will be able to use big data and analyze and say this is the time to sow and this is the time to water and this is the time to harvest and, and yeah, improve. I mean, it's, uh, you know, in fact, right um, close to this campus, uh, there's a very uh, world-renowned uh, research organization called ECRISAT, uh, yes, and yes, our yes, team yes, yes, uh, yes. worked with them. Uh, and taking what is the oldest industry, uh, uh, which is agriculture, and said, what can be done? Uh, because the inefficiency, even in something like when to sow so that you can get the best yield, is so high. But if you can take, create a closed loop data uh, feedback loop there, it can change. And that's essentially what we're going to do and what we've done and we've shown in pilot stages. Uh, but I think, think about that. If you can improve agricultural yield in a country like India, uh, the impact it can have, socioeconomic, uh, there cannot be anything that may be far greater than that. I mean, I think that's a perfect example of how AI can make the world better. And you're hitting right at the heart of India, agriculture. That's right. Where we have much more than 50% of our people that's living. Right. Wonderful. Now, um, of course, there is the worry that robots can be, are going to be much smarter than human beings. But who can be smarter than us? Can a robot be smarter than us? I think the, the case for AGI and whether it's going to be happen... Uh, uh, you'll have to explain AGI. It, it, artificial general intelligence. So when it people means... sort of talk about uh, the robots being better or machines being better than humans, most people invoke uh, the concept of artificial general intelligence where Which the is learning one step machine... above AI? AGI, uh, it has more emotion. It's with because it? it's yeah. learning on its own. Because the learning on its own, is, right, right. Because the reality is, even today, uh, most of AI is created by us because you invoked yes. the smart people at Microsoft Research or right, right. other groups who created this AI. Right. So the human is still very much in the loop in creating AI. Right. One of the, my points is we shouldn't abdicate this soon uh, in our journey to AI. Uh, I mean, whether AGI will happen or not, that's still speculated. When it will happen, you ask 10 AI experts, they'll come up with 10 different dates. But, but life is path dependent. Uh, I'm a big believer in that. So in some sense, it depends on us as to what shape AI will take. If we make the design decision that AI should empower humans uh, and actually keep the human in the loop, the human will remain in the loop, even if they are more capable in certain ways. So we have AI where the rules are given and the machines or the software works within those rules. Then you have AGI where the robot or the machine can learn itself and create rules or deep neural networks. That is a really next stage and that can have emotion. Well, there are a couple of things. The, first of all, the state of the art of AI, whether it's deep neural networks or these people, what they describe as these adversarial networks, these are all adversarial. happening today. Yes. If anything, we are in fact cracking perception in particular, like take uh, speech recognition. So Microsoft's speech recognition capability today is far superior than any human being. Wow. Uh, our image recognition technology is improving. Uh, in fact, our ability to even take these variety of different perception capabilities and fuse them uh, is improving. But we've not yet cracked cognition by any stretch. Any stretch yeah. uh, one of the things that I always say is when there is abundance of AI, perhaps what will be scarce is human intelligence. Uh, <laughs> and what that means is think about all of the things that you and I have, which is innate in us. Our ability to have empathy for the world around us, uh, to find us in them. Uh, that, I think, is one of the most in, uh, innate human qualities, and that, to me, is what we will have to invoke more uh, in our society and, and in our economy. People on people jobs are probably going to be a massive source of growth everywhere.